I was so your first run though, you guys got let go though, didn't you? Like, didn't yeah, you... we didn't even make it. We didn't. We didn't even make it a, a, a year yet. Uh, there was a there was a rib that was pulled on us uh, in the ring, and uh, Shad and I didn't uh, didn't um, respond accordingly, like professionally. <laughs> you know, we had we could go in an OVW. We um, our our ring etiquette is, you know, backstage etiquette is whatever we got going on in the ring, you know, you don't let it, well, I mean, backstage, you don't let it spill into the ring. You keep it right. professional, you know, that, and then that happened, you know, that they let the prank um, spill to the ring, whatever we had issues we had in the back, you know, they let it spill to the ring. And um, that really pissed off Shad, especially coming from OVW, you know, like, I don't care what we got going on in the back. We stay professional in the ring. You know, we don't yeah. take, you know, take liberties, liberties on each other or put our jobs in jeopardy. But that's exactly what happened, and uh, Shad and I got um got released. Um, we caught the um. Are you allowed to tell us? Day. Are you allowed to tell us what happened? Yeah. Was so we were, we were we were working um Lance Kidd and Trevor Murdoch. We were working them, and at that time, um, we didn't have the best relationship. You know, me and me and Lance, not me and Lance, me and um Trevor, we get along great now. We're in NWA, and we could actually like look back and talk about it, and laugh about it. But back then, you know, we we, <laughs> we didn't we didn't have the best relationship. And I, Lance and um, Chad, they, they got into it backstage. And then, you know, I, I just remember Lance walking up and said, we'll see you in the ring. Like, we'll see. Like, something like that. I'm like, Ugh, okay. And then um, in the ring, I believe they got the ref in on it. And the ref, we did a spot where I, I had a close call. Like, I would roll in, like, around 8 o'clock. They'll give me, like, a big bump or a big spot. And it will cause me to go to the outside. And um, I will get like a close, close 10 count, but I'll roll in like eight and a half or yeah. nine, nine, nine and a half. But this tonight, I knew I rolled in at eight. And then when I rolled in at eight, the ref said nine, ten. You know, ref counts at a certain cadence. It's like one, yeah. two. And then when he got to eight and I rolled, he said nine, ten. And the, ref, and the fans were like, started chanting bullshit, bullshit, because they knew it was, it was Did so he call obvious. for the bell too? Yeah, he called for the bell too. Ended the match, and then the, uh, our tag team opponents left. They were laughing at us, pointing in the ring. We were kind of like, "What the hell just happened? Like, we do this spot all the time, and how could you?" And then that made Shad piss, and he and we took and Shad took it on the ref. I joined in on it, and then Shad took it a little bit too far. You know, he he, he took the ref belt off and auctioned it to the crowd. You know, we, we were still we were still uh, still in character, but you know, we was, we, we were off script. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then we got to the back. Um, we got chastised by uh, well, he got chastised first by uh, Barry Wind was it Barry Windham at the time he was our agent, yeah. and then after that we got uh, ridiculed by John Cena in front of the locker room, and mm. then on the ride to the next show to Raw we got uh, a good tongue lashing from John Laurinaitis, and then the next day we were fired. So, <laughs> so, so what did you think then got... when you got fired? You made it. You're rolling. I know, right? And within a year you get blown. released. What? Not even a year, my gosh. Um, my mind was like that was the longest ride home. They made me drive after I got released. They made me drive from because we were we were like at least like four four or five hours away from Louisville, so they didn't get me a flight. They made me drive from where, wherever city we were into uh, <laughs> back to Louisville, and then during that ride, I was just like going through my head like I worked all this I worked oh this God. hard just to get released because of a prank like some bullshit. I'm like. Nah, this ain't it. This ain't you it. You were 21, 22, 20? I was 22. I was 22, yeah. Did you call your mom then? <laughs> um, no, not she yet. She was so excited that you got signed. Did you call her and tell her nah, you got fired? No, I couldn't call her yet. But she did. I mean, she found out. But yeah, I, I didn't I didn't call her right then yet. But um, but I did tell her, don't worry about it. I'm okay. You know, I, I saved up. And um, and she just felt it. And she just knew and heard back her head. She's like, you're going back. This ain't it. This ain't it. This is not it. I'm like, okay, mom, whatever you say. I'm. I'm thinking about I'm going to actually pursue acting or something. I might move to L.A. <laughs> what did but you do I after that? I remember you came back to OVW, DCW, because we were doing that DCW with Rip at yeah, that time. Yeah, I came back for a while because, yeah, I wasn't – I needed to get some of that ring rust. You know, I didn't want to – What did you write after you got wrestling. fired, though? Did you did you get out of wrestling for a little bit? No, I did some traveling. I did a lot of traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Places that I didn't go when well, – that I always wanted to go. I went, went, went to Trinidad a few times. I remember t- I've never been on a cruise. I went on a cruise. <laughs> we just awesome. visited some family, but yeah. When I got the call back to go to um to go back to WWE, I was actually in Trinidad. Oh really? I was in, I was in Trinidad. And I got the call, and Shad was like, "Yeah, we need to um we need to go back to. They want us to come back, man. We need to train. They want us to make sure that they want to see that we're still in the ring training. You over here traveling the world. We need to get in the ring. I'm like, ah, <laughs> oh, all right. 
<laughs> and How long we was that down, gap? That gap was about six months. Oh, that's all, really? They, yeah, they brought us right back after um, the day after WrestleMania. So when did, so when did it was this, like, when did you huh? come to DCW? Was it after like Chad called you and said they wanted you to come back? Did you have any no, idea? No, 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 no. It was it was way before that. It was like er, I think it was early in in my release in my release. Uh, I believe it was early because I can't remember the timeline too well. But yes, I think what's your I came what's early. your thoughts when you're you're going now back to DCW and hanging out with us again in front of fifty people? Uh, I mean, does that? I I knew I I just needed to stay to stay in the ring. Yeah, I knew I loved it. And I didn't want to stay too far away. I still wanted to keep, you know, because I know ring rust, and that's the real thing. <laughs> yeah. You stay away from the ring for too long. So I always wanted to make sure that, you know, I stayed stayed in the ring, stayed in front of a crowd. It was still my passion. And I was still young. I just, you know, I just needed some, you know, ease back into it slowly. Was anybody in touch with you that time? Like, did you have a feeling you were going to get re-signed? Or did that just come out of nowhere? Yeah, I did have a feeling when um I, had, I got two feelings. I got two two kind of like hints, I would say. When Chad and I got released, when we walked out of John Lauren, Lauren Itis's, um door, as soon as we walked out, um, Stephanie and Hunter was right there. And they was kind of like, sorry, you know, they was kind of like giving us the, the speech, but at the, giving us the speech like, you know, I'm sorry about this, you know, we got to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of it, he was, uh, Hunter said, you know, just keep your noses clean, stay out of trouble, and you guys will be back. <coughs> but when he said it, you kind of like you're just saying that because I'm standing in front of you. You just giving me some bullshit to uh, to walk to. You know I don't tear this bla- tear this place up. But now nah, they did bring us back. <clears throat> yeah, stay awesome. out of trouble. Yeah, we didn't kept our noses clean. Stayed off the internet. And that's what a lot of talent should do when they get released. You don't gripe and put your emotions on social media and start bashing the company. You know, chill. You know, if you notice, a lot of the talent that got released a few months ago, Hunter brought them right back. <clears throat> yeah. But not the ones who talk shit, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got we got Killer Cross resigned, didn't we, Rip? We had Killer Cross on our show, and I'm pretty sure that that uh, we were responsible for getting him resigned by WWE and Triple H. Okay, well, you, you gonna put in a good word for me too? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. As soon as this, yeah, I'll, I'll get this show out next week, man. You'll you'll be getting offers left and right after this, man. Appreciate it, man. I give you ten yeah. percent.